Minister, since I got elected to this doll in 2016, I have brought up about the plight of the beef farmers throughout this country and in two t since 2016 and before. We had a crisis mainly because of successive governments in this country protecting those inside the factory gate and in doing so forgot the man and the woman on the farm who have put all of the work to put the meat of this country on the table. But since 2016 and before, no one listened, and now we have a crisis above all proportions, and many beef farmers are staring ruination in the face. They are so, there are 80,000 beef farmers in this country. It is estimated that if any of these farmers go out of business, it will lead to a loss of €30,000 to that rural community, which will lead further closures of creamery shops, pubs, contractors in this rural community. The crisis we have at the factory gate today could well have been avoided had we been listened to, and now we are where we are. Over the past month, you, Minister, have been telling these farmers, go home. The factories have been telling these farmers, go home, or we will take legal action against you. It's been David versus Goliath, which he, and instead of you, Minister, coming down to factories like Bandon and taking to, to, talking to these God-fearing, honest farmers, you continue to taunt the, these farmers, and how do I how do I know this? I'll tell you why. I have met and spoke with these honest to God men and women every day since this peaceful protest began. And they are suffering. They are working at a loss. They can't continue this. They can't pay their creamy bills. They can't pay their contractors. And why is this? Because everyone is creaming off the animal they sell. But they are getting the least. The factories are creaming off them and they are untouchable. The large retailers creaming off these farmers and they can't be touched. And how do we know that? This is quite simple, Minister. You were not able to get these people around the table for, for the last month as they called the shots and wouldn't make a serious effort to bring this to a successful solution. Instead, they have been hiding behind rules and regulations made by successive governments put in place to protect these and in doing so sort the farmers right down this morning. The negotiations last weekend could have started two weeks ago at least. The farmers called off the protest at that time outside the gate, the factory gates, the loud talks, but the power of the large retailer and factories made sure this would not work. This was a serious breach of trust as far as all the farmers were protesting outside the gate were concerned. In my view, bilateral discussions were not the way to go last weekend. To resolve this, everyone should have been brought around the table. I also think that farm organisations should have gone back to their members on the ground before they accepted the deal that was struck out last weekend because their members were furious outside the factory gates last Sunday night and on the deal being done, which will continue to see farmers making a loss for animals they are selling. The farm organisations should have gone back to its members and discussions should have continued to look at the 30 months and many other issues that is causing major problems for farmers today. The base price needs to be increased, Minister. This should have been uh, ironed out last weekend and needs to be dealt with immediately if we are to get a solution for this massive crisis. These farmers outside the abandoned factory and every other factory throughout the country have had enough. They do not trust the factories. They do not trust you, Minister. They tell me themselves. And they are not happy with the leader of the main opposition, Michal Martin, for his continued silence on this crisis for Irish farmers. They do not want, uh, they do want this resolved. They are reasonable men and women. They, uh, they proved that with the Chinese delegation coming to Bandon only a couple of weeks ago, and where there was an unanimous agreement by all protesters to leave them in, which they did unhindered, which proves that, the, uh, that the thing, these people are reasonable people, but they have been abandoned by successive governments. Where is Artishik on this issue? Did he not listen to us for the last number of years? And now we are where we are. Minister, it's time to wake up. Resolve this crisis immediately because these farmers are near, are near the edge and you must protect them. You are their minister.